Hey guys, we have a quick video on a homemade marinade. Um, it's quick, uh, easy, and delicious. Uh, it goes perfect with any cut of venison. Uh, we're gonna do a backstrap in the oven, however, um, so stay tuned and follow along. Okay, the ingredients and the quantities are gonna be in the description below, so if you need to refer back to that at the end of the video, definitely do that. But we're gonna put one cup of olive oil, a half a cup of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, two squeezed lemons, three quarters cup soy sauce, one tablespoon of fresh parsley, and two garlic cloves. Um, the parsley and the garlic we're gonna mince up beforehand, and then we're gonna mix it into the marinade here. So um, this marinade, I've only tried it on venison, but it's very, it goes very, very well with it, so definitely give this a shot. Also, do me a favor and please subscribe to my channel while we're at this point in the video. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we got our nice piece of bag strap here. And what we're going to do is, if you have like a gallon size Ziploc bag, put your bag strap inside. Or if you have Tupperware too, that'll work. And then you're going to pour your marinade inside the bag. All right, you're gonna to wanna to put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate in there for six to 12 hours. Okay, so the backstrap has been marinating for about eight hours in the refrigerator. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Uh, while the oven's getting hot, we're going to sear the backstrap on the stove first. So put some olive oil in a pan, get it up to a medium high temperature and sear all the edges first. Um, each edge should be seared for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Um, and that's gonna lock in the flavor while, that, while the backstrap is cooking the rest of the way in the oven. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the backstrap is seared, so now it's time to go in the oven. All right, so this backstrap was in the oven for about 15 minutes after we seared it. Um, after it comes out of the oven, you're gonna to wanna to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, let it finish cooking in the inside. Um, that always works out good. Um, thank you for watching this video. This marinade is absolutely delicious. I highly encourage you to give it a shot. Um, again, please subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, let, me know how, let me know how you guys like it in the comments below. Um, I think you guys will really like this one and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.